Good morning again, toddler friends. How is everyone this morning? I hope you're all doing well. I want to say hi individually to all my toddler friends. I want to say hi to Nick and Taylor and Cody. Hi, Claire. Hi, Lachlan. Hi, Sarah. You may hear Poppy snoring in the background. She's having a little morning snooze. Um, today, I want to show you some a new concept. We're doing big and little. We're talking about big and little today. And I know you know my doggies and I how I showed you in the very first clip that I did with you. Uh, my big dog Poppy and my little dog Herbie. Well today I want to challenge you to go around your house and find pairs of items that are big and small. And I have a couple of examples here of the things that I found in my house. A big spoon and a little spoon. I have a very big penguin here. There's going to be a penguin in the story that I read to you today. And the little baby guy, he's so cute. And the third thing I found is this very big and it's also heavy book and a very small little book. It actually has little teeny tiny words in it also. <laughs> little teeny tiny words. So yes, I challenge you to go around your house and try and find items that are big and small also. So that's kind of the theme and concept for today. I'm going to read you this book, Animal Babies. And there's all the, the Fox family there, very cute. And we will also do not so much a song today, it's kind of a chant that I think you'll remember. I Instead of using a worm and an apple that we did in the fall, we're using bunny and flowers, kind of like a little springtime activity. And there's also a bunny in this book. So I thought, bunny. So we're doing some activities that will highlight that and big and little. So. Come again and join me and I'll see you. See you next time. 